is up, Humanoid Nation. So we're on our My Surd video reaction of the day tonight. The final one for today. And that is the funniest video bomb news bloopers. By news be funny videos. Gotta admit, news bloopers are pretty much hilarious because they're just out there. They so are. That's why I love, like, remember watching that show back in the day, or is it just me that remembers this shit? America's Funniest Bloopers, or bloopers and bleeps and shit, whatever. There was a bunch of shows back in the day where they just showed bloopers, and most of them, the funniest one were basically news bloopers, because they were flat out hilarious. So anyways, let's full screen this, and let's start this shit. Petronia Post One has been there all day, so Petronia is the- Ah, oh, the kid in the background. I heard this. This kid is fabulous. It's like New Year's Eve out here in downtown Summerlin. A lot of people are here celebrating. Governor Brian Sandoval was even. You go, girl. <laughs> do what you have to do. It's really a cool environment, guys. Once the boats and ballots started rolling in for. Excuse me. Artists keep on the. <laughs> they don't give a fuck in the Middle East. You're on camera, and they slap the shit out of you. Excuse me, madam. Don't bring liquor here. Be taxing the tamami the hayat more when it's under. You can just come and be by the water. Right. You can take a boat. If you could stop waiting for a second, also happens to be a newspaper reporter. Hello, Mahani. Hello, Mahani. Hello, Mahani. Hello, Mahani. Hello, you're asked to call the East Metro Auto Theft, Auto Theft Team. What other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the half? What's that bearded guy? That guy looks so weird. Um, make his first appearance, but in this case, what a giant uh, hat! Have that. Good morning, John and Randy. I can tell you that I just learned that about thirty <laughs> <Free -free -able. laughs> It's hitting up against the seawall, and also we're Open worried about the tidal flooding in other areas. Tonight, some of me is a part of very. Holy very shit! He looks like O.J. Simpson. Looking for so this is what he's doing now, that he's, he's not in jail. To learn what this federal complaint... <laughs> We're going streaking! Oh my goodness. Uh, firefighters mm -hmm. say that the... Uh, You're the... on private property. Fuck. <laughs> we have not gotten into the worst part of this storm yet. That is the sound of a little... Oh, bit knee to the so, nuts! Uh, Kim asked her and her supporters to say a prayer for Gina Roberson. Who remains what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Car break-ins are down 28% this year, but he is urging people to keep their doors locked and to continue to communicate. You know, a lot of these commuters having to deal with losing their home or their car, and then, excuse us for a second, <laughs> Jim, I gotta send it back to you in the studio. Every time we turn the camera on, we've just got a lot of... You know, I've never seen an Asian reporter do the news. That's the first time I've seen that. Well, I don't watch Chinese news, but American news, I've never seen an Asian reporter once. Police tell us they are still looking for <laughs> See, those that, suspects. Do that. Reporting live in southwest Atlanta, Angelique Proctor. What he did. Of course, he played under Roberto Martinez at Wigan. And at the time, he really was broke. very much really? you know, praiseworthy. Now, another advantage of this ID system is that the lines are very, very short. Are very, the lines are very, very short. And, um, what, okay, thank you. This I've only seen a couple of people leave here in the last hour, and that's because... They were going to get buddies tattoos on their arms, premiership tattoos. So look, as you can see, uh, ambulance just left, a fire truck just left, and, and uh, firefighters are just there right now. That's just uh, a regular uh, Wednesday. Everyone yeah. is out safe, and we're live now tonight. Yeah. Well, I was saying it, bitch. It, it's out here for many reasons, and it's just that's just one of the reasons. Yeah, put that on the news. Lausch bleibt, wie er im Moment ist, und vor allen Dingen, dass er weiterhin aus südwestlichen Richtungen What the hell? Und dann kann der Appstrom, der jetzt inzwischen eingesetzt hat, ungehindert in die Nordsee abfließen. Uh, but something that you cannot prepare for, something that has so horrific, it's affected so many people from those Oakland parents uh, up to the strangers who felt compelled tonight in one that creates to come together. <laughs> the look on her face, like, what the in fuck? In the next hour or so. Oh, it's shit. Still not completed here. Chris Hewton, the manager, still here on site at Carroll Road. Parent company of Lehman Brothers filing for bankruptcy as the subsidiaries basically wind down or Lehman tries to Jesus. sell them off. In addition, huge, huge news. Is that so Kyle Gass from Tenacious D? Reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. 
Yeah. All right. Well, gone on for a decade, and you've ruined okay, it. Okay. Okay. Well, 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 well. In, inside their home, you heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them. But at this point, if you haven't left, really? don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the road. Why are you dancing the jig back have there? To eat these really fast because this they're ain't not the 1800s. Cold, and, and she didn't believe me. She said, "No, it's cold." I said, "It has to be zero, or ice cream won't stay cold." And lo and behold. It's so warm. Uh, VDOT is asking folks to uh, stay off the roads, and, uh, and and that helps them move along quicker here. But Quick, guys, let's go get frostbite. Here, uh, obviously, the, <laughs> she, the look on her, her, her face, Larry disappointment. Vermont sessions here, midway through the season, he said that would have come with some challenges, but he feels like it's been a smooth one, and he said that the two oh, he's definitely horny. Each other well, and that's been the reason for their success. He's horny. If you plan on coming down tomorrow, you can expect an even larger crowd. It's supposed to be the big Oh my god, that's a creepy ass smile. Tomorrow. Oh yeah. And of course, lots of people drinking down here. Can you tell? Huge array of talent are going to be on stage. The likes of Stevie Wonder, Elton John, Robbie Williams, and then of course, there's the man who's been the driving force behind it all, Gary Barlow. And earlier, my colleague Emily Bateman spoke to him. Drive half the speed limit that you would if you are out on the road. You have to be on the road. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what the, the fuck in the of the road, is that? Here all over and really dodge that, dodge those cars in the road. Absolutely. How the fuck do you find that bicycle? Monstrosity. I'm believing in number five too, the fifth-year senior, Taj Boyd. I think with this crowd, one of the best atmospheres in college football. Just had a brief lull, the one of the first in a while. Someone long always has to be half naked, don't, don't they? Uh, Chad Myers, the meteorologist, CNN. He he had said that. Um, oh, there we go. That's some of the uh, some of the hooligans having some fun out there. There it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Go back to the home, Grandpa. You need your pills. Very great. Come on, buddy. Take it back. Let's save people. Come on, let's get it. 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 Come on, let's well, sistema, daí desligou esse circuito. Jack Sparrow, all of a sudden. Não, não se estendesse ainda mais. Ainda há risco de Nothing ter algum apagão aqui. Weird about that? Não, o nosso produto. It's like he's just a random pirate he was back walking the along the city. The yeah! 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 I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job. He's probably thinking that. Okay. Confirmed by a family member telling us that the victim likely will be paralyzed for the rest of his life. He's he a smooth criminal. Family nine five four four nine three tips. If you have any information, in Lauder Hill, I'm Hank Tester, NBC Six, South Florida. Fremont Street here is the place where locals and tourists alike gather to listen to music and you know people like this yeah. they listen to this stuff all the time for example if you see this guy's a, yeah you like michael jackson too don't you well as you see this guy's a little out of control right now but you can't blame him for that you know let's tell you a little bit more about michael jackson michael jackson so basically the deal hi how are you Oh, are you having a good Friday today? Yeah, but uh, we're actually on the air. Right. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, thanks. Right now? Yeah, for, for, thanks. What? What? Thanks for what? So what are you usually right. thinking you know, during the morning? Doing hey, I'm going to dress up as a rabbit and wear so, a dress and well. shit <laughs> and just walk around and go to work. I've been waiting for the Chrysler Concord to come in. <laughs> How do you come up with that help, help, this morning? Help. pulling his tail. That's the you Easter Bunny. You just can't get this type of entertainment on so many networks. <laughs> I called my friend Bajan Fatty out of Village Chrysler for many, many times back in December because I've been actually waiting on this car, and you're going to see Concords all over the road. Troy talked about how the zombies out here because they basically what is left is the people walking around with this glazed look in their eyes and just stumbling. Hey. Like this one behind me. Condoleezza Hi. Rice. How are you Where doing? have you been? California. Oh, very nice to meet you. You know, morning, I know. You're going to do a story. You're going to do an interview with us? 
Sure. Okay, because we were just talking about here along Bourbon Street and uh -huh. the STD rate that's been going on here. And so how long have you um, have you had an STD? I don't have an STD. Oh, why did you want to talk? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Talk. I'm so sorry. Are you serious? Condoleezza Rice doesn't want to talk. No, I don't have an STD. Yeah, doesn't have an okay. STD. Okay, oh God, yes. Anyway, so I've been taking care of, uh, yeah, that in my own oh, little way. Ooh, 49ers. <laughs> You can see what I've been having to deal with out here. Different atmosphere here in this pub now than there was when we got here at 8 o'clock this morning. Now, it's a different crowd down here now. It's starting to fill up with football fans. But when we got here this morning, it was full of Andy Murray fans hoping beyond hope that this, his third Grand Slam final, would be third time lucky for him. But it just wasn't. Do easy. something else, people here for fuck's sake. Very disappointed, sakes. but also extremely proud of Andy Murray. And they say, remember, well, he didn't win. Well, he made it to the final, and he made it to the final this time. Ah, at least he's doing something different. Australian he's doing the shimmy and the shake. We here then, and we'd all had our fingers crossed for a different outcome this time. Now, we've been told not to lose heart at all. Some of the greatest tennis players of our time, amongst them Andre Agassi, didn't win his first few shots at Grand Slam. It happened for him later in the day. Yeah! Isn't it funny how, like, the clickbait for all the news bloopers that they show at the end is basically half naked women that have no, are nowhere in the goddamn video. The, the clickbait of these people, motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Top 10 live news reporting fails and they show a woman showing cleavage. Because that's the clickbait and all that bullshit. Because, you know, young teens are going to click on that shit. But, anyways. News bloopers are always the best bloopers ever. Because it's live and you just can't tell what's going on and the most weirdest shit happens. Anyways, if you ever see that YouTube stuff like bloopers and blunders from back in the day, YouTube that shit. It was a pretty good show. I laughed so hard. I missed that show. But they're not doing that anymore since now it's YouTube now. They could do it, but I don't know if they're doing it. But yeah. Great video. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Vivir así